I was actually blessed enough to really uh, collaborate with my friends. Drake uses the cosign masterfully. I mean, first of all, he came into the game with a cosign on So Far Gone to have Lil Wayne on like three or four of your songs was like, wow. I was actually blessed enough to really uh, collaborate with my friends, with people I care about and love and, and people who I share the joys of music with. Obviously, Trey uses cosign to his benefit. It's his way of being an A&R. It's his way of staying in, intact with the streets. It's, it's his way of staying intact with people below him. We call it amongst, you know, a, a group of my friends, the, the Drake stimulus package <laughs> that he hands out. He picks good songs to jump on. He also picks great artists that end up becoming something big. We're talking about the Migos Versace. We're talking about I Love McConan's Tuesday. And we're talking about Tanache's Two On. I was just as surprised as everyone else was when I logged onto Twitter and was reading my at mentions and someone was like, oh my God, at Tinashe, Drake just remixed your song. And I was like, what, is this for real? That Drake cosign that he gives, you know, him just jumping on an uh, artist's track is mutually beneficial a lot of times. I, th I think it keeps Drake relevant. I'm gonna help them take it over the top and it's gonna keep me on radio without me having to roll up my sleeve and show you the tricks that I'm holding for my next album. The Drake cosign can take on many forms, but one of the most common being an opening spot on his tour. Drake's Club Paradise tour was brilliant. He started off the first leg and added ASAP Rocky and Kendrick Lamar. The mixtape was out, it was bubbling. Perfect guy to put on his tour. Put out Section 80 a couple months later. Like, yo, I need you on this tour. You know, it'll be a pleasure, be an honor. I was like, that's dope, man. You know what I mean? I can't. I can't back down from that, you know, to, to expand my music to a crowd that haven't heard it before. Drake's fan base is ridiculous. Now they have soccer moms looking at a Waka Flocka video or reciting a Meek Mill line, <laughs> all because they went to, to the concert with their daughter. Like, who's this guy? When you're on tour with Drake, of course, he has to set you up with a big record so that you guys can perform that together on stage. But that record usually becomes the first single off your album, which is a huge thing for a new artist. Him and Rocky have f***ing problems. He and Meek Mill have amen. Him and 2 Chains have no lie. Then the twist comes when the tour is over. He says every song sounds like Drake featuring Drake. And it was just like, I thought these guys were your friends. No disrespect to, to any of these guys, but it's like, shit, man. Like, you're not playing by any rules right now. He knows what he's doing, man. Picking all the right artists to do all the right things with. And he's smothering everybody like hot, thick gravy.